people. So today is a great day. I happen to have uh, for this review straight red Virginia. I've been talking about it. How wonderful is it? It's actually from McClelland and it's called Red Cake. I also have another special treat for you. Uh, I'm going to be smoking this out of a little clay pipe here. Uh, let me explain the pipe first to show it to you here. You can see that this is from the Briar Shop in Houston. In Rice Village. Again, see the description for the information on the Briar Shop. But uh, what they have is a guy who uh, makes these in the old German style. Um, he makes these little ones, they sell them for three bucks. And what that allows you to do is to go in and any of their bulk tobaccos you can sample uh, through this pipe. So you don't even have to have a pipe if you just, you know, uh, want to go in and try pipe tobacco for the first time. They'll sell you this. You don't have to have an investment or anything in it and you can try the different tobaccos. Um, or if you're like me, I was in there. Um, they did not, I did not have a pipe with me. I didn't bring it with me. They had the McClellan Red Cake. I really wanted to try it. I went ahead and picked this little bad boy up for three bucks. Got a couple bowls of, uh, of the red cake while I was there. I usually only smoke one bowl, but as you can see, that is rather small, but it does do good for a sample. But you know, I got a couple bowls uh, and then I bought four ounces of it. Um, I'll be buying more and cellaring it and everything else, but uh, you know, it's it's sold by them in bulk. Uh, McClellan red cake, this is, it's not flu cured or anything like that. It's just straight up red Virginia, kind of done in the old world style. Um, when you smoke this, I will tell you, not just this pipe, I've smoked this out of a briar uh, pipe, standard briar, briar pipe, uh, my Royal Irish, um, and it gets more of an earthy flavor from this pipe, which, hello, it's a clay pipe, you're smoking through it. You get a little bit of an earthy flavor. And I'll be completely honest, I really like this little pipe. They, the guy makes better and, and fancier clay pipes uh, and I'm actually considering buying one of those um, simply because this is something else, but it's a very dry smoke. The, um, this pipe absorbs moisture. And in fact, the first time I put it in my mouth, my lips stuck to this because they, uh, <laughs> of how dry it is. Um, I've since smoked it some and can, you can clench this gently just like that. Um, mm, that is delicious. Very spicy. You'd swear there was more to this tobacco than just the one red Virginia. It's great quality there. Spicy. Everything you'd expect in a, in a red Virginia. Uh, just, but... I don't know what McClellan's did to this, but... Oh, it's so good. Uh, my tobacconist there at uh, the Briar Shop was talking to him about the Cornell and Deal uh, because they do a red ribbon or a red flake. What They do a red Virginia as well. He said, it's nasty. Don't waste your money on it. I haven't ordered it. I'm tempted to order it anyway because I've liked their other products. See what it's like. But he said, this is much better. Again, that's his personal taste or personal preference um he did tell me these are harder to light and i have noticed that it is harder to light this pipe this is a very small pipe but what i noticed about the clay pipe is you do instantly feel the heat i mean it's almost instantaneous even meerschaum takes a little bit of time to heat up and and whatnot, and they do respond to temperature changes quickly, but this is almost instant, almost instant. I mean, when I'm lighting it, I can feel the... Oh, it's so good. It's very, it's got an earthy, earthier taste out of this. I actually prefer it out of this uh, than my briar. And again, that could be that the only thing this clay pipe has had in it is red cake from McClelland, but 
It also could be that it does give it that nice, deeper, earthy tone. This this red Virginia is everything you'd expect from a red Virginia. It is five, ten stars out of. It is just the quintessential. If you're a Virginia smoker, you want to smoke this. It's great. Now, when I clench this, I can feel the grittiness of the clay. You know, these aren't going to last forever, so they're not as expensive as, you know, a briar. And I don't know if there's a way to make them last. I don't know if you, you know, a fun little pipe. And I want to get a, and they're all smaller, but I want to get a bigger, nicer one. You know, one that's not stamped and, uh, but it's just it's a little fun, fun thing, I tell you. So I thought I'd do the, oh, it's got that nice spiciness to it. You know, when you smoke and you blow it through your nose, you can almost, I mean, you can taste it and you can smell it. And the room note on this is marvelous. I mean, it is just, I've gotten so many compliments on it. People just love the way it smells. It's got a nice round note to it. It's not harsh on the nose at all, and it's just yummy. They non-pipe smokers were wanting to. <laughs> In fact, uh, was there and um, gentleman was there with his uh, significant other, and he was smoking his pipe, and she liked the. Cheap cigars, you call them women cigars that have the flavoring to them, kind of like, I guess, um, you know, I don't know, but she liked those. But when she smelled this, she bought a little clay pipe, put some in it, and, and you know, she's used to smoking. I mean, she would be your, your quintessential, I guess, aromatic smoker as well, but she's used to smoking those, like, flavored cigars, and she absolutely loved this. She was like, that's really good. Of course, she also liked their... You know, it's not a gauge of how good a tobacco is based on that, but just based on the smell alone, she was willing to give it a try. This little thing is a little difficult to keep lit, but loads of fun. Definitely a must-buy. This is McClellan's Red Cake and a little clay pipe here. So thank you for watching. Appreciate you uh, looking at my reviews. Please comment in the comment section below. Um, give us a thumbs up. And of course, you can always hit that subscribe button right there to see more videos. But I'll also be posting some just other random reviews. I got a mustache wax. Uh, I'm just starting this handlebar, you know, so this isn't at all the finished product here. I'll review the wax and, uh, you know, I'll probably just have some rambling videos. So we'll see how y'all like those and see what. Uh, comes to that, I want to grow this channel, and uh, let me know what you think, let me know what kind of th uh, videos you'd like to see, if you've seen something from the past, if you liked it, let me know, but uh, again, thumbs up the video, give us a like, subscribe please.